What's up, y'all? How y'all doing out there? Hello, man. It's your girl, Tiffany. And I am back at it. I'm back at it with some more content for y'all, man. Some more content for the watch on your phone, on your laptop, on your computer, on your TV. However you watch YouTube, your girl is on it. I'm, I got y'all. I got y'all, man. So if you have not yet already tapped into my channel go ahead subscribe to my channel man help your girl out if i can keep pushing out more content more content more content more content but y'all today i said man it's a pretty ass day um today is saturday i don't know when y'all gonna get this video maybe y'all get it on monday um but yeah so this is just some motivation i'm trying to push out to the world i got my neighbors in they pool the kids Making a noise in the background got the birds chirping so the sun is out And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. And I said man, let me just get some motivation going So maybe I'll call this seven things to do motivation Monday get it going get it cracking So man go ahead and stick to this video man. I'm about to throw on some glasses Get right into this video because it's hot out here in California It's hot got a little wind but it's hot, y'all. It's hot. So yeah, tap in, stick around, let's go. Alright? Alright. Alright, y'all. So I really don't know what I'm gonna name this video, the title of this video. I just came up with some ideas, wrote it down, and I'm going for it. Alright. So this is just some motivation for you. This is just one thing that I can say to you is just to motivate you. Maybe I name this seven motivational things I'm doing and I'm pushing out. But the first thing you guys is just I need y'all to take 100 100% ownership of your life. Hear me out. Hear me out. I like my Warriors colors. Yeah, we won last night, but anywho. Um, hear me out. 100% of your life. I need you to take ownership of that. Not 99%. Not I coulda, shoulda, woulda. No. It's your life. You need to take ownership of your life. No one can make you mad. No one can make you sad. No one can take your joy. You will have to give them all back. Okay? I need y'all to wake up every morning and take ownership of your life for that day. Not yesterday, because yesterday gone. Not tomorrow, because tomorrow's not here. Right now, take 100% ownership of your life. Alright, y'all. So the second thing that's on your girls list of just something that I'm trying to motivate y'all. If y'all click on this video, that's the only thing I'm trying to do is motivate. Alright? So the second thing that you need to do, not now, not tomorrow, not today, right now, is make a plan. Make a plan for your life. Execute your plan. Stop living day to day, tomorrow, tomorrow. Have a goals. Reach those goals. Make a life for your children's children, even if you don't have none. All right? Make a plan. Stick to your plan. God got you. Come down with the plan. Talk to God. And then it'll happen. That's it. Talk to God. Have a plan. That's the second thing to motivate your ass. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Let's start over. Let's start new. It's a new day. That's the second thing on your girl's list. Alright, all right, y'all, right, so the third thing that's on my list, and this is something that I'm, I'm still to this day, I'm, I'm having a problem with. I'm having a problem with making convenience a friend. Things that's convenient for me. Make it my friend, not my enemy. Start using your time wisely. Everybody gets the same 24 hours a day. If you know anybody that get anything less or anything more and they're still on this earth, please let me know. Give me their DM number or the Instagram and the Twitter. Give, give it to me because I need to ask them some questions. Everybody gets the same 24 hours. What you do with your 24 hours is your decision. But here we go back to number one. We can't blame nobody for what we had a decision to do in them 24 hours. Your decision, baby. 24 hours, what are you going to do with your 24 hours? First thing, tomorrow morning, what are you going to do different that you did today? Think about it right now. Alright? Time, 
convenience, peace. Those are some things that we need to cherish. So things that's convenient for you, make it your friend, not your enemy. All right, that's the third thing on my list. I'm on my fourth thing. It's coming on down. We're getting on through it, all right? This 100 degree weather is not gonna take your girl out. It's not. So we don't know, we're, we're, we're doing it. All right, all right. So the fourth thing that's on my list, y'all, and this is something that I, I've been telling my kids, I've been telling my man, I've just been telling the people that's already in my circle what's the next move on my plan. And that is just upgrading your social connections. Upgrading it. Upgrading the people that you hang around. It's a saying that say if you hang around five broke people, you'll be the six. Yes, that is true. Upgrade your situations. Upgrade your social circle. On this thing, this next level that I'm going in my life, I'm taking. It's going to man it, to be my friend. It, you got to have a lot. You got to have a lot to be my friend because I'm gonna give a lot. Loyalty is a big thing for me. So I'd rather my circle be like a small, real small, than have a bunch of fake people around me. I'm an introvert. I don't like small talk. I don't like none of that. But when I get into this next season of my life, I'm going to need friends. Yes, I'm going to need friends. But I need them friends to be on the same level as I am. Emotionally, spiritually, financially, all that. So in the meantime, I'm learning how to be a friend so I could attract them type of friends that I need. But yes, upgrade them social circles. Upgrade it. Them social connections, get with people that you want to be like. Not be like, I guess not be like, but get with people that inspire you. Get with people that's in the same predicament, in the same place that you trying to get to. So you'll know the road and the steps and the all the no's and the don't. Get what I'm saying? All right, that's the number four thing. Upgrade, upgrade your social connections, your social circle. Get rid of some of them friends y'all follow on Instagram. I'm glad I don't even, I haven't been on Instagram, TikTok, none of that stuff in months. I feel good, I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. So upgrade, upgrade them. All right, that's the number four thing. Whew, calm down. Your girl be getting so emotional when I be doing these videos. All right. All right, y'all, so we are on the 15 that's on this list of just five things I'm trying to push out to you guys just to motivate y'all to do better. If you knew better, you do better. You get what I'm saying? If you knew better, you do better. So the number 15 that's on this list is just be an expert at what you're trying to do in life. Be an expert. Me. I always wanted to be a mother. Some people say I was a good mother. Some people, I'm I, that I don't like putting that good, best, title, perfect. All that is weird. I just wanted to be a mother. And I, however God was going to make that happen, I was down for it. But I was an expert at it. I'm an expert to teach you how to be a good mother. A perfect mother, a great mother, whatever y'all want to put it. I can just teach you how to be a mother. Right now, I'm trying to be a good girlfriend. I've been in a relationship for 10 years. It's been good. I mean, we've had our times, but now that I'm in this position in this season in my life, I'm trying to be the girl that he deserves. So I'm trying to be an expert in that relationship department. You get what I'm saying? I love sex. I'm an expert at it. I love talking. I'm an expert at it. I love bouncing back from situations. I'm an expert at it. I'm about to be an expert in this YouTube thing if I stay consistent. I'm a server right now in Olive Garden. I'm an expert at it. I could get three, four tables and make the same amount of money that people just overwhelm themselves with 10 tables. Same amount of tips. I'm not going to say it's all on me. You know, God, dude, God got something on that too. God got it. But be an expert. All right? Be an expert at whatever you put your mind to. You can't be perfect, but you can be an expert at it. That's the number 15. All right? Two more things. We almost done. We almost done. Yes. Ooh, y'all. It is hot out here. Your girl is sweating. I got this black on, baby. I'm on my marshmallow. Look at my little marshmallow. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see it. Look at my little marshmallow blanket. 
But anywho, 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 we are on the number 16 on this list. And the number 16, y'all, is this is something that I want everybody that's watching my video to understand. Stop comparing, stop being in competition with somebody else that's not in your in your race or in your in your goals and your dreams and your plans. First of all, nobody else should be in your goals, your plans, and your dreams, but you and God. So stop competing with somebody or something that does not even matter. Only person that you should be in competition with is the person you were yesterday. That's it. Tomorrow, I'm trying to be better than I was today. That's the only thing I'm trying to be better than. I'm in competition with myself. I fight with my brain. I don't have time to fight with nobody else. I don't have time. I don't have the time. I don't have the patience. I don't have the money, the strength, the tears, nothing. Only person I have time for is myself. The only person that I need to be better than is myself. The person that I was yesterday. That's it. Y'all need to stop doing that to yourself. Stop comparing yourself to him and her and she, them, they. I don't give a fuck. You are who you are. And I say it on all my videos. Be you because it looks better. And I say that for a reason. Be you. Stop trying to run everybody else's race. Man, I'm getting too emotional. I'm extra sweating. Oh, Lord. Just be in competition with you and that's it. All right? If you ain't in the same race as you, then it's a problem. It's a problem. If you in the same race as somebody else, it's a problem. Because y'all not even on the same level. And if you need help to try to figure that out, DM me or email me. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know. Maybe I should shoot y'all my number so y'all can really get in contact with me. So I can really get y'all this game. All right? Stop being in competition with everybody that don't matter. And that, that's the number 16. All right? Almost done. Stick around. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. All right? Y'all, I'm out here. I'm hot. I'm super hot. I got on these jeans. I got on this all black. I'm over here moving and doing all kinds of stuff. But the number seven thing, y'all, and y'all know how these videos go in my backyard. I usually have chickens and gooses and turtles and all kinds of stuff making noise. But they quiet today. They must be hot, too. They really must be hot. But the number seven thing, y'all, and this is something I need y'all to take to heart on some real stuff. Especially if you in some kind of state of mind to where you feel like uh, you can't go on, life is too much for you. I'm here to tell you that you can go on. I'm here to tell you that life will be okay. Stick in there, all right? Stick in there. If you need help, I done been through it all. Depression, anxiety. Yeah, I done, did, I done lived it. 40 years on this earth, I done lived it. It's nothing I have not went through, been through, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm better than ever. I'm stronger than ever, and my faith is fucking amazing. But yeah, uh, the number seven thing, let me just go ahead and get this over with. And I say this on all my videos, so this is kind of the outro and the number seven thing. It is just be you. Be you. Whatever you want to do in life, do it. Do it. Ask for forgiveness before you ask for permission. That is something I learned. That's something I'm learning. I will ask you for to forgive me before I ask you, can I do it? Because I'm going to do it. If it's in my mind and God told me to do it and I feel it's right and it ain't going against my world, I'm doing it. And if it's upsetting to you and I see it's upsetting to you, I will apologize for hurting you. But I have to do what I have to do. I have to. And I need y'all to figure that out too. That's the number seven thing. That is... This video, I don't like I said, I didn't know what I was gonna call it. I'm not trying to be a motivator speaker, I'm not trying to influence you, I'm trying to touch your spirit. I'm going to be a spiritual influencer. Those three things I have been working on for a while my mind, my body, and my spirit. My body is on point. I'm not even gonna show y'all what I've been working on. I'll probably start a whole nother channel. But your girl being 40, yes, baby. My mind, oh, I works on that every morning. Works on a journal, meditate.